Today's the day Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner has warned us about, the day we reach our $14.3 trillion debt ceiling. But he's managed to keep the government funding and avoid default by siphoning money from federal retiree programs to pay the government's bills. You know this. If anyone in the private sector did this, they'd be thrown in jail. Isn't this the kind of behavior that has led us to this near fiscal ruin? Here to, to discuss are my freedom fighters, Fox Business anchor and my colleague Lori Rothman, Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan, and Reason Magazine senior editor Catherine Mangu Warren. Ellis, to you first. Is it right for the government to break the same laws that it would put us in jail if we broke? Well, it's not really the best thing to do, let's be honest. Now, I'm not quite as alarmed as some, some are about this, and maybe this is because I've lived in a situation that I've had some little cash flow crunches, and I know I'm <laughs> looking around for that bucket with the change in it and going underneath the cushion. Yeah, but you know couch, that if you, you, know? if you owned Hennigan and Company yes. and you put money aside for the pension funds of your employees, Mm -hmm. and then you borrowed that for a rainy day, you'd go to jail the for it. You'd at least be prosecuted. The government would look askance at that. You yes, know, in made-for-TV right. movies, when things are about to really get bad in an addiction story, there's always this moment where the addict steals money from his grandmother's purse. And I think, budgetarily, we've kind of hit <laughs> that moment right now. And things are just going to get really Does ugly from Tim here Geithner's on out. Is this Tim Geithner's way of saying... I can delay the sky from falling until August 2nd, when the Congress is on vacation, by the way, another issue for another time. Oh, I 100% agree. If I were a federal worker, I'd be infuriated. I mean, the government is basically, Geithner and the administration is saying, okay, we're going to push this off. We have this, this deadline of August 2nd, so we really have to make a decision on the debt ceiling. Just raise the debt ceiling and call it a day. Then they don't have to worry about this fancy uh, accounting or shifting money from here to there. You know, some of the government is unionized. Why aren't there uh, outcries over this? Or do they all believe that this is just an accounting gimmick and the debt ceiling will eventually be raised and the government will borrow money and replenish those funds? Yes, yes, and yes. Listen, the reason that this is allowed is because the alternatives are all worse. You don't really want to shut the government down. You don't really want to renege on the government's obligations. And so you start saying, well, okay, where are we going to get the money? What else are we going to do? And in the end, people hold their nose and say, well...